point is, I worry because in America, they do have Christian fundamentalism. Uh, we don't have that here. Uh, in fact, many people are leaving the Anglican Church. And I think that if the Anglican Church is going, be, is going to be taken seriously at all, it needs to get a bit more radical. Lady bishops, gay vicars, angry Africans. The Church of England is in crisis. And it seems that some of its members are sick of turning the other cheek. This was the scene earlier this month when the anti-terrorist squad foiled a plot by a radical Anglican cell known as the St. Agatha's Parish Council Flower Arranging Subcommittee. This is just some of the terrorist equipment we recovered. Jumpers, old skirts, a jigsaw, with most of the pieces missing. It's our belief that the group were planning to hold a jumble sale, possibly in the centre of London, during rush hour. It's terrifying. <laughs> so just how angry are the Anglicans? Tonight, we find out as we ask C of E or C of Evil. They made me wear a jumper and don't. Um... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's still very traumatic. Well, what one has to remember about radical Anglicans is that they are fundamentalists, but they're also very reasonable. So they're ruthless, but they're also quite polite. Sorry. Sorry. It's still very traumatic. They think people who don't go to church are damned. Unless, of course, they're busy on Sunday, in which case it's perfectly fine. Now that's a Battenberg. Imagine that on a crowded bus. In order to find out exactly how big a threat radical Anglicans pose, I'm going to have to pose as a radical Anglican. And I've got a camera and a microphone hidden inside this teapot. Posing as the Reverend Timothy Bumcheeks, I managed to gain the trust of the organisations in a circle. Got some more tea here. So I said to the bishop, I thought it was a wonderful idea for a sermon, but can you find the Bible passages to illustrate it? What did he say to that then? He told me to piss off. You expect a raging poof like that. <laughs> have you got any more biscuits? Um, so I'll just go and have a look. But even more shocking than their abusive language and lack of biscuits are these images from the fundamentalist secret Bible training camp outside Chelmsford. It shows the lengths the radical C of E will go to achieve their aim of a Britain under the rule of strict parish council law. Is this the kind of future we want for our children? Stop the madness.